And of course, a big part of fitting these bags in the garbage is getting all the air out. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go for a little walk in this park. Pull my curtain across for a little privacy while I'm gone. Got my keys in my pocket. The door is locked. Yeah, this opening isn't very big. Actually, it's good enough. Yeah, time for me to get out of here. I'm just not a city person. I've got your package, Kaz. I'm going to open it. I'm at my sister Brenda's house, as you can see. <laughs> I'm so curious. I know she is too, of course. Are you Brenda? Of course. <laughs> Especially when it's something perfect for your van. Yeah, that's right. You've had pictures of her before, people. She's waiting for some um, more snack. They might want to see your face too, Brenda. <laughs> oh, another time. <laughs> Just your voice at this point. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, oh my God. But let's see what it is. Oh, it's a, it's a scarf. Look at the colors. Yeah, those are your colors. Oh, it says something Mexico on the bag. Oh, from Mexico. Hope you like it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my land. Look at those. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that beautiful butterfly. It's huge. Whoa. Oh, look at that butterfly. Holy. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I'll have to look at it from the front. Yeah. Wow. Gorgeous. Gosh, so perfect for the summer to hang over my door or something. Exactly. It'll be when nice and wide and open. Holy cows. Thank you. I just had my hair cut. We left this little bit longer and this little bit longer. I've never done that before. I just met up with a subscriber, Kaz, and she brought me to this place. Oh my, that was our table. Look at this, it's adorable. And there's hey guess what I'm doing I'm about to go on another ferry come to Denman Island with Big Blue for years. Actually, in all the years I've been living in Big Blue, which is coming on five years. So I'm gonna be closing up my van a little bit. It is probably getting on to four o'clock in the afternoon. So it's cooling off and I want to close up some Reflectix before I get to the park so that it can be nice and cozy and warm in here when I arrive.
Pretty nice, isn't it? Wow. Nice little trail. This is going to be beautiful tomorrow when the sun comes out. Little mossy trail. As you can see, big blue in the background. I wondered what that was. Is that a... I'm recording for bit for YouTube. You're recording what? For YouTube? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. Sun's coming up. I am just going to leave here and try to find that sun. Or I can get onto Big Blue. That's the idea. And I might treat myself again if I can find something that's open to breakfast. I've not eaten breakfast yet. I'm just getting up. I did go back to Felon Glay Park, my campground. I'm going to stay there another night. But um, a little bit too shady. The sun was barely peeking through the trees. So I came back here. We'll catch some sun for a bit. Maybe a couple of hours. Then we'll go back and go for that beautiful walk again. And the campground emptied out. So I have my choice of waterfront camping for tonight. Yay! That's so good. I am so breaking my low carb. Found some rustic rye bread, some local bread. Went into a little gift shop and found some homemade pear jam. And making some tea. But, oh well. 
I'll get on to low carb and almost no sugar after I'm finished my little holiday. How's that? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Talk about badness in that local little gift shop. Denver Island chocolate, coconut milk. Bad girl me. This is so cool. This gem has the old fashioned wax on top for sealing. My mother used to do that. Well, I've hit the end of the trail. From now on, I would be going through all the logs. The driftwood brought up from the ocean. My glasses are fogged up. I'm afraid my knees aren't up to going through all that driftwood. Not yet, not yet. Ah, <sighs> but it's so beautiful ahead of me. Look at this too. The seagulls are so quiet. They're not making their noise today. But there's lots of babbling brook noises. Yeah, there's a little waterfall in there somewhere coming off that cliff I don't see it I don't see where it's coming into the stream though I'm suspecting right here but underground this is very sandy so it's probably under the ground Like I noticed yesterday, brook on one side, ocean on the other. Couldn't be more perfect. Now I have my knees with that bandage tape, and it actually does work pretty good. This one here, this knee kind of sort of gave out on me a couple of times on this walk. And I noticed that the pain was here. Which and my bandage crossover was down here. So I tried to change it, but of course, this tape does not spit stick the second time. And now it's not offering any support whatsoever. So I got a bit of a walk to get home, but I'll just take it slow and it'll be fine. I thought I would be okay without wearing my knee brace. My knee's been feeling pretty good. I think I would have been okay, actually, if I would have had that the crossover of the tape in the right spot. I did make it back. I do have to clean out my shoes again. I've been walking on rocks for a bit now. <laughs> that was a beautiful walk. 90 minutes. But a good portion of that was setting up for YouTube shots, which I know you will enjoy. And here I am. It's 
my abode for tonight. I love this time of the year when I can be open, because the hot, hot sun isn't coming in. All I have to do is put on my heater for a bit and it's going to be nice and warm. Once it gets hot outside, I have to close everything off with Reflectix just so it doesn't get too boiling hot in here. Yeah, I love this. Guess what? I think I need stitches. Ah. Normally I just let things like this heal, but I think this is quite a deep one and I probably should get it closed off. <sighs> See you at the hospital. All right, here we go. There's my hand. I haven't let go. And the whole drive here. Sheesh. Trying to do this one handed. Boy, oh boy. So that wasn't so bad, was it? He just glued it together and and um, made sure it wasn't going to open. So there we go. So hopefully I will not get infection, which was the main reason for me going, because I don't like infected fingers. <laughs>